So after I did my Crimson Nether Hub tutorial, a few people asked me to do a Warped Nether Hub tutorial. So here it is, these are all of the blocks that you will need. Uh, feel free to pause the video and also keep in mind that the rose bushes can be any flower that you wish. And then you will also need up to 33 stacks of stripped warp stems. This is the main block of the room and as you can see you will need a lot of them. Also feel free to change the tutorial how you like, change the size, change the palette, whatever. I really don't mind. Also, I am building this on top of the bedrock ceiling. If you're on bedrock edition, ironically, you cannot build on top of the bedrock ceiling. So build it below the nether ceiling. But if you're on Java edition, then I have linked a video by Logical Geek Boy in the description, which will show you how to get on to and build on top of the nether roof. Also, I'll be using vanilla tweaks as well as some settings just to make it a little brighter and easier for you to see. But in your game, it will be a lot busier, all the textures will be noisy, and there'll be lots of particles. So you may wish to use the resource pack in the description. I've used the brighter nether and the better bedrock additions to it. But anyway, without further ado, let's get right into the video. To begin with, build up with three temporary blocks from the bedrock ceiling and build a 3x3 three three nether portal. Then build along by 21 uh, temporary blocks. You can use whatever you want, you don't have to use the gold blocks, but I would recommend using something bright and pr preferably something with a grid-like texture. Then at the end, just place a lodestone, then get rid of all of these blocks like so. And as you can see, we've just got another portal and a few blocks away, we have the lodestone. Now we will be ignoring this for now, and we're just going to be focusing on the central point of the nether hub, which is this lodestone. Next up, build out by nine blocks like so. And then make sure the central point here, right at the end, is a five block T-shape almost. So as you can see, it goes out by nine blocks and then five on the end. Then on one side go by two, two again, but then two this direction, and again, then one, two, three, four, five. And repeat this around, creating a circular shape with the lodestone at its center. Then you can fill this in with warped planks as you wish, just like so. And you could easily use a different block if you wish. However, I prefer to use warped planks since this is the main design of the nether hub. Then get some warp stairs and place them like so around the lodestone so you can see half of the lodestone texture. Then go to the central block of the outside and go back and place a stair like this and then place a shroom like, like so and place stairs around this. Then do exactly the same around the rest of this circle here just so you have some nice lighting with the shroom lights. Then find the lodestone, find the corner block around it and build out by two like so. Then place another shroom light on the end there and surround it once again with warped stairs. As you can see, this will be two diagonal blocks away from this edge here. Repeat it the same by going out by three like so. Shroom light there. Three again, shroom light there and a final three with a shroom light there and once again surround them all with warp stairs like so. And as you can see we've got a nice circle with these shroom lights surrounding the whole thing. Now at the end of the shape surround it with a trim of the warped stairs replacing all of the outer blocks like so. Just going around the entire circle and leaving no gaps. Then go to the edge and build out by three temporary blocks and then make sure it's a T-shape with going up by three and along by five. Then place a set of two, two and two again and then change directions like so. Make sure to finish at five, so go five, two, two, two and repeat this around the circle like so until you have a, a temporary circle like so. You can now fill this in with stripped warp hyphae. Just make sure all of the stems face in exactly the same direction so it doesn't create weird patterns around the room. Then find the edge of one of these platforms and build a set of warped planks like so 
and place on top of them some warped slabs. Then build behind it and do the same thing, like so. Make sure you build to the ground just so it's easy to place them down and you don't see any gaps below when we're finished. And once again, finish with the planks like so. Then get your slabs and go two, 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 one, one. Like so, and it's a nice curve there. You then go two, 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 two. Then go down like so, and place your warped hyphae like this, like this. And once again like this so you have the exact same stairs around here as well then fill this in like so just so they're a set of solid stairs and it's much easier to build around them in the future as you can see this is the corner of the shape repeat this all the way around the room and until you have a nice trim like a second circular layer then find all of these blocks and build down to the bedrock with stripped warped hyphae. As you can see this creates a nice wall and then you can just fill in this section with grass. As you can see it's a bit of an annoying colour to deal with because it's all brown, marshy, sort of very burnt and nethery and it's not a very nice colour of grass so I would suggest using double tall flowers just to disguise it a little bit. For example go around with rose bushes like so around the base and then lilacs behind it like so. Going rose with rose bushes once so again behind the lilacs And filling in the rest of the spaces with lilacs once again. I will leave some other flower patterns around the rest of the room. So while I'm building the rest of the hub, you'll be able to see some other designs that you may like to use instead of rose bushes and lilacs. Now go to the end of one of these staircases and build out by five blocks and build this ring around the building. Now as you can see, it goes but nine along, then four, then two, two, then one, 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 two, two, four, nine. And that circles around the entire build like so. Now grab your stripped warped hyphae and build across, filling in the gap between our original nether hub and the circular ring around the room. And do this until you've filled it in completely and make sure once again that the stripped hyphae are in the same direction as the rest of the stripped hyphae in this build just so it doesn't look too weird. Now go up these warped stairs and place down the warped hyphae where I will be placing the diamond blocks. So place one here, place one here, then find the central most of these single uh, temporary blocks and place one there. Then go around here, do the same and mirror it until you've gone all the way around the build, like so. As you can see, we have diamond blocks all around the circle. That will be where you'll be placing the warped hyphae. Now, as you can see, I have done it with one of the quadrants here. And all you need to do is build up the warped hyphae to five blocks tall and build up the rest of the template blocks up to about five blocks tall with the stripped warped hyphae. As you can see, we now have a circular wall that is five blocks tall made up of stripped warped hyphae with the occasional warp, uh, non stripped variant in here and there. Once you've repeated that all around the nether hub, find one of these nine by one areas and break a hole like so. Make sure it's three by four blocks like so, like a little entrance to what could be a nether tunnel. Then find your first area where it goes four, two, two, one. Go to the two, two, one area and break it up like so. And then repeat that around. So for example, go here, do the same thing here and go along here. Find the two, one section here like so and do that. And just make sure it's a mirror image around the room 
just so it repeats like so. So there's one there, one there, one there, one there, and so along. Then in these diagonal sections here, place one stair there, one stair there, repeat it here, one stair there, one stair there, and then in these straight areas here, just do two stairs there, and repeat that around the room. Once you reach the section where the nether portal is, just place three stairs like so, then place one stair here, one stair here, and three full blocks there like so. Then place a column of polished blackstone here, and another column of polished blackstone here, and your warped hyphae up here, and place an upside down polished blackstone stab here and here, and then one that is the right way up, and then place a shroom light on top of that, and do the same here, so, like, so it's almost like a mirror image there. Then place three polished blackstone here, and two here, and place some upside down polished blackstone stairs there. Then here, do the same, but like so. And then some more upside down slabs here. And replace this stem block here with a shroom light. Then repeat this pattern around the room so you've got a really nice blackstone trim following across the room like so. And you've also got some nice lights lighting up the corners here. And once you've repeated that around the room, go back to these sections here and place a trim of polished blackstone at the top and the blackstone stairs in the same pattern as these stairs here. So go around the room, do exactly the same thing. And once you've done that, you've pretty much completed the wall around the room. If you wish, you could add more details like anvils and torches and similar things. But for now, we are finished with that design. Now, this part here does require a lot of attention because it is quite easy to mess up. So on top of the blackstone trim that you've just made, go one, just cover it in a temporary block and then cover... The, and then build out by nine like so. So it should go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine over here. And as you can see, it juts out slightly from the top. Then build out by four, two, two, one, 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 two, two, four, and back to nine again. And rotate that around the room until you've got a complete design. Then replace all of those temporary blocks with stripped warp pyfe around the room. Then use the same or a different temporary block around again and basically just build out by two and just fill in any gaps that may need filling in. So for example, go along by nine, then four, two, two, one, and repeat that around. As you can see, if you pause the video up here, you'll be able to see exactly how it's done. Then replace all of these temporary blocks with the upside down variant of the warped slabs like so. Once again, place your templates blocks in a similar formation so that they jut out by two blocks and go 9, 4, 2, 1, 1, 2, 4, 9, and repeat that once again. And then to replace those with stripped warped hyphae, make sure that these go one block above the warped slabs that you used previously. Then do exactly the same thing once again, going 9, 4, 1, 1, 1, for nine and so on and so forth and make sure to replace those template blocks once again with upside down warped slabs then repeat it once again this time in the formation nine four one four nine and once again repeating it 360 degrees around and replace all of that with stripped warped hyphae then warped slabs in the formation nine two one two nine then go up and do stripped warped hyphae once again in the formation 9119. Then upside down warped slabs in the formation 919. Then finish it off with this pattern here, the gold bling being stripped warped hyphae and the diamonds being upside down warped slabs. Then finally as a finishing touch go up to the centre and place a shroom light there. And there we have it, the nether hub design. I do hope you enjoy it and please if there, you have any struggles with it just let me know down below and I'll try and help you out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.